All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. So we've got something a little bit fancy, so I thought I would uh, rise to the occasion. And uh, I look sophisticated as fuck right now. And uh, the only thing that I am missing is, of course, the scruffy, dirty beret. That'll do nicely. So today we're going over to, and I always pronounce this terribly, but uh, I'm an ignorant Englishman. Or I kind of look like I'm from a, like a 70s sitcom <laughs> right now. Um, and this is a beer from uh, Mikula. I'm just going to say Baghaven. I know it's not Baghaven. I know it's not Baghaven. I know there's a proper way to pronounce it, but it escapes me right now. And this is the Eben Hedges or Eben Hedges. Um, when I read that, right, uh, before I started... Re <sighs> Fuck off, Peter. Before I started uh, recording this video, I just had uh, the jam in my head. Eben hedges, even hedges. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Uh, but this is basically an oak fermented Danish wild ale aged on fresh blueberries or blackberries, I should say. Uh, blend two in a 175 milliliter bottle uh, aged between 12 to 24 months. Uh, this was involved or involved. Uh, this was included in a beer club box that I got God knows when. I don't know how old this is. Uh, it's probably about a year at most. So uh, I thought I'd just crack it open because why the hell not? It's just been sat there in my sort of uh, beer cabinet. And a beautiful cork and cage presentation. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, label artwork on all of these. And uh, yeah, look at me fun. I keep picking at the like the skin on my thumb for some reason. It's like a, it's a bad habit that I have. Um, so don't judge me. So let's get this open, and hopefully it doesn't gush everywhere. Oh, oh, oh! Hello. Oh, very nice. That was a really satisfying pop. That I just love the fact that there's. Oh, look at that lovely and uh, i do love these corks i mean look at that it's stained the bottom of the cork anyway so thank you uh fitting glass with a uh, mamikula glass so let's give this a pour oh yes look at that still an active little bugger and a uh, very dirty glass um, yeah, it looks like juice, like black currant juice, Ribena, Oasis, you name it, it looks like it. Beautiful glow to it, nice ruby reddish hue of a subtle, subtle pinkish tone. Head dissipated straight away, as one would expect. But I tell you what, folks, that is looking very nice indeed. So let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, that's lovely. Now, I'm not sure what goes into uh, the production of a Danish wild ale. But there's just that right amount of like funkiness coming through. A little bit of woodiness there. Definitely getting a whiff of that barrel. Oh, those black currants are singing, singing out of the glass. Do you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of when you've not let jelly set enough. I don't know, I've got a feeling this is gonna be it's gotta get it's gonna have a nice level of viscosity to it, I think. And it's just left such beautiful remnants around the top of the glass where that head dissipated. Oh, smelling good. Smelling damn good. So uh, without any further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks.
I was going to open my big, fat, dirty whore mouth and say, not getting much of that blackberry on this sort of like initial intake. But about a third of the way through the drinking experience, you get there and it comes through nicely on the back end. The blackberries aren't too tart. They've got a nice level of sweetness to it. The base beer itself, not too puckering, not too sour. It's, it's got a really nice, smooth, easy drinking sort of feel to it. That's really nice. It's, it's just really nice and gentle. I think it's matured and mellowed out really nicely. It's not like the biggest of flavours, don't get me wrong. But what flavours you do get in there are just absolutely wonderful. Fizzles away nicely. Don't make that noise because it's nasty. But makes your mouth water. It really, really does. Not too acidic either. It's smooth. There's just a it's that level of smoothness that just makes it a really, really nice drinking experience. I didn't even read out what the ABV of is on this one. Uh where is that ABV? Does it have an ABV? Surely it does. Oh wow. Oh no, that's not the alcohol by ball. Oh yeah, it is. 7.4% ABV. Not on your Nelly, mate. Yeah, the more I'm drinking it, naturally, the more I'm getting that black currant flavour. It's not too much, not too sickly sweet, not overwhelming by any stretch. Beautiful balance, beautiful level of maturity on this one. It's not the most exciting beer that I've had from these guys. But this beer, beautiful little uh, romantic sharing beer. Which I can't do now because I've drank it. But um, yeah, this has been cellaring nicely. Probably should have waited till Christmas to open this. But yeah, I think that's a lovely, lovely little beer. It really, really is. Um, so yeah, for the Eben Hedges, I'm going to give that <coughs> out of 10. No, um, terrible joke. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. If you like Blackberries, there's more than enough there. Definitely worth giving a go. And, um, yeah, go check out, um, I'm, I'm going to say it again, Baghaven. <laughs> I know that's not how it's pronounced. I do wholeheartedly apologise uh, to all of my uh, Danish subscribers, but they've been producing some absolutely fantastic fantastic beers um that i've had through the mickler beer club and i'll have to uh resubscribe to it because just some wonderful wonderful stuff that you can put away drink fresh some beers that you probably won't be able to get hold of usually some exclusives so if i remember to do so um i'll put my referral link down below actually because i love getting my boxes at half price because uh, i'm a cheap bastard um but yeah, lovely stuff indeed. Highly recommended if you've tried it. Let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And uh, yeah, more importantly, hope you all take care, stay safe. And I shall see you all later. I have actually reviewed quite a lot. Well, not quite a lot. I've reviewed a few beers from these. So the links will be down below. Uh, go check out the Mickler web shop because, of course, you'll pick up some of their stuff in there as well. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. It's been a while since I've actually um, had anything remotely to do with Mikola. Um, that has to change. Anyway, cheers for watching, folks, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Bye-bye.